health matters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Dear fans of the TDR network, welcome to a very special interview today as we have Dr. Professor Kamal Deen with us here on our show. Professor Kamal Deen is a specialist intestinal uh, surgeon. He has an experience of over 30 years and he's uh, worked in the UK and the USA for more than 12 years. He's delivered talks across so many countries in the world, more than 400 talks. And of course, his specialization is in the human intestinal tract. And he has many publications regarding its research. Assalamu alaikum, doctor. Wa alaikum assalam. Doctor, without wasting too much time, we'd like to get into some of the very pressing questions of these days. Uh, we've seen, we're seeing a very unfortunate culture, a very unfortunate uh, habit kicking into so many of our lives, and that is unhealthy food habits. Yep. Could you shed light into some of the things that we need to change in terms of a habit? habits of daily food intake, what we need to take out of our systems and what we need to bring in as a habit? I think the bottom line to eating healthy is to eat from food made at home. Uh, if you follow that as a principle, you can't go far wrong. The uh, epidemic of obesity and overweight and the consequences of the overweight obesity uh, epidemic uh, uh, have arisen from the growing fast food industry. This is a merciless industry that basically is driven and fueled by commercialism. Uh, there is no rule to uh, how they operate. The only one thing that fast food does is to, by whatever means, to provide great tasting food that may not necessarily be as nutritious as it tastes and to enhance the, the taste value of all of that stuff that allows attraction of the young generation, particularly teenagers, to uh, the growing fast food industry that results in significant ill health. In fact, for the first time after many years, the American Medical Council has has actually proclaimed that fast food can now be, without doubt, be associated with the development of cancer in the younger ages of people and also in future. So I think uh, it has a lot of uh, disadvantages. Uh, people must be made aware of this, particularly the young. And at, let's face it, if you are unhealthy, there's no point living for the rest of your life uh, for 80 years because that gives you a poor quality of life. And Absolutely. that's not what you want. Absolutely. You want to be productive uh, citizens, productive people of the community, and help the world in a way that uh, disrupts the negative trend that we see happening across the world. Mm -hmm. uh, doctor, you will agree with me that uh, the central piece of every human being, the central piece of flesh, if you put it that way, is the heart, isn't it? And it, it, it has great impact on the way you maintain it. Uh, what we've seen is an epidemic of heart diseases, which are very common nowadays. They're prevalent all around the world. Tell us some of the steps we can take to avoid, first of all, to avoid these heart diseases. And then, you know, if you do come across such diseases, how do you work towards getting back to a normal heart? Well, the first thing uh, that you need to understand about avoidance of uh, heart diseases and the consequences of heart diseases is to eat healthy. Absolutely. Um, that means a balanced diet and essentially if you can stay to a prescribed weight for your height, which is in uh, shortened form referred to as a body mass index, that was generally a good guide. Mm -hmm. There is no uh, huge Wikipedia type dictionary that you can refer to to keep your heart healthy. Just stay with a balanced weight. Mm -hmm. And that will arise from having a, a normal healthy diet on the one side. On the other side, you have the exercise component. The heart is uh, exercised and kept toned just like everything else in the body by uh, a program of exercises called uh, the cardio workouts. Mm -hmm. And cardio workouts essentially are workouts that keep your heart rate at a particular prescribed level of exercise for a short period of time that will go with both your age, weight, and height. Mm -hmm. So uh, cardio exercises, 30 minutes a day, 
for three times of the week is the minimum recommended to keep a good, balanced, healthy heart and to, 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 to keep the equilibrium between overeating and exercising. Right, so in summary, what doctor is telling us is that the, the, the key to a, to a healthy heart is it that uh, one aspect is healthy eating, another aspect is a regular workout. Am I right, doctor? Yes, and the one thing that I need to also emphasize on is, is to quit smoking if you're already a smoker, because smoking does induce significant heart disease mm -hmm. that really nobody needs, especially if you're in this fast food game Absolutely. and consuming a lot of unnecessary uh, nutritious foods. Mm -hmm. Uh, that cannot be expended. I guess it's a, it's a deadly combination, to say the least, you know, of smoking and, and fast food, that basically bad eating habits. Right, uh, we, we don't have too much time, doctor. These are meant to be short interviews. So I'll get to my most important question, and, and that is the fact that, you know, from a personal perspective, I have seen, and most of my friends have seen, that our parents, you know, some of the elders in the community, even at the age of, let's say, 40 or early 50s, uh, they do seem to be developing these sicknesses like cholesterol and diabetes, having known that back in the day when they were our age, they probably ate much healthier. They probably had much healthier lifestyles, but still at a young age of early 40s, they're still getting all these diseases. So what about the youth now with our, health, with our very unhealthy eating habits and very unhealthy lifestyles? Uh, the future doesn't look so bright. So what is your advice to the youth, you know? Is it still, is it too late? Uh, it's never too late because these are reversible situations. And I think the important thing for the youth of today to understand, uh, if not in heart health, in anything else is to stay absolutely focused. The world is so competitive out there. And if you miss out a couple of days of work, then you're probably going to lose your job or whatever you're doing to the other competitor. So it's essential and vital that you preserve your health, and that includes your heart health. All right, that's fantastic to know. I think that was a very enlightening session with Dr. Professor Kamaldin. I think we are absolutely honored and privileged once again that uh, he agreed to tom, tom, talk, come talk to us for this short while. Doctor, once again, thank you very much. Jazakumullah khair. Allah bless you abundantly. Thank you so much to you too, and assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. Jazakumullah khair to the fans of the TDR network. We will see you next time. Until then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.